Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Skeletor in the One Minute Pool in ICC. Uh, Skeletor is 22:21, and we have like a Maroxy bind going on. This is all theory, actually. Uh, I'll go B4. I really want to sack something in the center. Um, I'll play G4 now, though. I think I'll play G5 is maybe what he's going for. G5 would certainly be interesting. Okay, F5. Um, I'd love to put a knight on D5 if he were to play E5 here. Plays bishop g5 instead. Okay, um, let's go a4. Check. a5. Um, okay, he's heading to the e5 square. I should defend my g4 pawn. I did lose a pawn. d6 is kind of weak. Check. So I'm going to try to go attack it. Yeah, he doesn't want to allow me to get into d5, so he's not going to play e5, I don't think. Um, okay, h4. It's fine by me. Let's go here. I'm happy to trade with him a little bit. Uh, I think I can do that. I have to be a little bit careful. Just to not allow him counterplay. Check. Not allow too much counterplay. I'll trade again. G5. Oh, don't want to nearly pre-move that. Check. Okay. Um. Hmm. Time. Let's go here. Check. 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 Okay. This is shaping up to be rather Check. interesting. Check. 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 Okay. I think I got him on the clock. Check. 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 All right. Well, I actually played, I picked up the speed a little bit in my first game. Uh, someone correctly pointed out that I tend to play my first game in these bullet sessions pretty slowly. <laughs> so I was, I was hyper conscious of that uh, going into this game. So um, also I'm playing around with my microphone setting, settings. So I know I had some microphone audio issues in my past few videos. So I hope those are at least improving, if not completely fixed, but let me know if you notice a difference. Okay, so let's check what the highest rated game is going on right now. Not a lot of action going on in the pool at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, this is the guy I just played, Skeletor. And Machine Gun, uh, I think this is Alfonso Almeida, International Master. So late night bullet action here on the ICC. It's a little before midnight. Central time at the moment. Mm, Song Lo. Mr. Song Lo. <laughs> this guy beat up on me real bad in past sessions. Um, so I'm I'm adopting like an anti Song Lo setup right now. I'm really doing my best to keep him off guard. Total anti Song Lo setup. This actually, hmm. This actually looks really good for me. Knight takes e4. Does that work? No, but it really ought to. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go here. D4 is coming, so he's got to be careful about that. Yeah, D4 is still coming. Let's go back. See if he'll trade with me. Trade the queens off if we can. Doesn't want that. Okay, knight f8. I might need this for defense. He can maybe go a3 and then b4. So I should probably go here to swap the queens, huh? Uh, he doesn't want to swap. Okay. Uh, is my queen trapped right now? Nope. I have this move. Time warning. Not quite trapped. Rather late castling for me. Uh, let's take here and see if we can get some sort of counterplay uh, going. Check. Check. <clears throat> uh, Bishop C1. Check. He's not going to trade. 
He's not interested in trading. We headed for a rook end game. No, we are not. Check. All right. Well, I flag Song Lo. I actually like that setup I chose against Song Lo. Uh, okay, Jason Cow. This is not a guy I played recently, um, but I think it's um, maybe someone uh, I can gain some points Check. off of. Well, as I say that, as I blunder immediately against him. Check. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is over. Um, okay. Yeah, that's this is over. I'm going to resign. That was a horrible game. <laughs> I just blundered right off the bat. I wasn't expecting c5. Not a very good move, but yeah, he caught me off guard. So, yeah, I feel like I can gain some points off of him. I just need the right, like, opportunity to do so. He has, like, a really weird style is what Check. I've noticed of him. Really strange, like, playing style. So let's go here and then maybe play c4 if he puts his bishop on b2 is what I'm thinking. I'll attack this pawn. Problem is I can't really put my knight anywhere good. Um, I should probably take and then play knight g6 maybe. And mm, maybe queen a5. I, I want to go c4 and get rid of my doubled c pawn. That would be ideal if I could do that. So, I don't know. He's making it difficult though. Let's go here. I'll try to put my uh, queen or rook on b5. Not quite yet, but this rook coming to d5 should be useful. I think that dropped a pawn. Well, now I can take with my rook if he trades queens. Okay. d3, yep. Mm, let's go h6. He's probably going to start withdrawing these miners. Yeah. Time. I'm already somehow like much down on time. Greatly down on time. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's just try to double up and attack. Check. He's pretty fast, but maybe I'm faster? Yeah, I'm faster. Hmm, surprising. Usually these young kids are like really, really speedy. <laughs> okay, let's see if he plays that C5 line again. He doesn't do it. He's mixing it up this time around. We've got like a, I don't know. Some sort of weird setup. It's not quite a Rogozin, but it's close. Rook b8. Strange. Okay. Okay, this looks pretty good for me now. Um, if I take, take c7, uh, I'm not going to risk it. Uh, let's go. Let's trade the bishops. We'll just attempt a castle. And then maybe e4. Queen b6 is probably a good idea, though. Let's go e4. d4, I can't take it because he has knight b3 check, so that's annoying. Hmm. Check. He has a check on d3, but where is he going after that? Let's just offer to trade. Maybe I can come back and uh, win the pawn somehow at some point. Check. Uh, that's bad news. Very bad news. Check. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just losing. Okay, I'll resign that game. 
Good game, Jason Cow. Hmm. Maybe I should have captured on d5 on this move. I wasn't sure about knight takes e5 and then knight takes c7 check. I just uh, wasn't sure about that line because my knight gets kind of stranded on c7. But that was probably critical. f4 is actually a little weakening. I, I kind of regret that move. Castling kingside I also slightly regret. Hmm. Okay, Jason Cow. Um, let's see if we can get him again in the pool. He only appears to play bullet. And he plays all sorts of lines. Like, really, all over the map. As far as his... Okay, I'm just dropping pawns for some reason. Um, I guess Check. I'm just going to go try to win something. But c7 is a problem. c7 hanging is not, not good. Ugh, this is horrible. Castle, I guess. Um, sure, take. Why not? Bishop e3 probably coming. Yeah, defend the... Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Hmm, maybe you can go g4 now. Check. That was not good that I even allowed that Check. to happen. He could have taken bishop takes f4 and like stranded my king in the middle. Would have been stronger, I think. Uh, he can take on f5 here. Let's go here. Yeah, really bad position. And I'm down on time. Losing pawns left and right. Um, okay, fine. I'm going to have a horrible bishop versus his knight. Uh, okay. Check. Let's see if I can go Check. work d2. Hmm. This is bad. Knight e4 is just good here. Yeah, this is this is practically over. Check. 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 Oof, I flagged him at the end. A glamorous flag. I'm up to twenty five fifty. I'm not proud of it, but desperate times, you know what they call for. Desperate measures. That's right. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to take on c5. Can that really be a good move? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I should play it like knight f6 or maybe um, uh, maybe queen a5 in this position. Attack his knight and attack c5. I'm just really confused. Okay, so... Did I split with Jason Cow, or am I still minus one against him? No, I split with him. And I beat Songlo, and I beat Skeletor. So, so far, it's a, a profitable session, rating point-wise. I want to play Jason Cow again. Okay, there we go. Yep. Let's see what we get this time around. Something weird. He likes this knight c6. Like, what is this knight c6 move? I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's like a move that's like, it can't be good, but... In... In, uh... A time control like this, maybe it's okay. Hmm, knight coming to d6, that's interesting. Then bishop a6, I suppose. That's probably where he's headed. Nope. It's like, I, I can't predict anything this guy does. It's really weird. At times his style just seems completely random to me. Check. Uh, okay. I'll restrict his bishop so it can't come out to a6 and go here. He hasn't developed his light square bishop yet. It's kind of weird. Okay, now I seem to get just pressure on... Uh... Ooh, well, that's tricky. If I had taken on c7, he had take on b5. But I could have taken on e7 then, right? I think so. Check. There's a check there, but I have this move. 
now let's bring everything back and defend. And then take once. Time one. Maybe go here. Hmm. He's just playing super duper fast. I gotta hurry. Check. Um, okay, take it. Sure. Uh, Check. Okay, let's take there. I want to get my king free. Check. Check. Be able to march with my king. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I lost my rook on uh, b8, embarrassingly, but I got the win. <laughs> I've just really ramped up the speed in this session. Like, if I'm hitting 60 moves per game, like one move per second, that's that's good. He said in the chat, stop it, TT. I think that, I don't know what T underscore T means, like cry or something? <laughs> he knows I'm flagging him a lot. Hands get sweaty. <laughs> Wee's, knees weak. Arms spaghetti. I wonder if he's seen 8 Mile. Sparnel IQ. Okay, this guy's really fast, too. Actually, Jason Cow wasn't that fast. That's what's strange about him. Like, he has, like, a pretty good playing style. He's just not very quick. Um, I've played this position before. I have, I have. Now, queen d6 is the next move. And then you go bishop to d7. And then you try to play for e5. What is that move? I think I can just take here. I think I can just do that. Okay, um, e5, yeah. Check. Everyone in agreement, e5? <laughs> okay, let's take here. Knight c7, huh? I'm just willing to give him the rook on a8. Doesn't want it. Okay, let's take here. Threaten mate on f2. Check That's mate. That's checkmate, okay. Good session. I'm up to 2580. Am I making a run at 2600? That would be cool. Sparnel IQ. Is he going to play Jason Cow? Oh, he got a game against a 2199. I know Jason Cow's got to be lurking there in the pool. Yeah, I had um, this position OTB against um, international master Sean Nagel. And, uh, and, this position instead of g4, uh, I believe Sean played bishop b1. And then I went bishop d7 and he played rook h4 in preparation for g4. Because g4 is a good move, trying to go g5 and weaken black's king side, but I think it's inappropriate that early. Yeah, black can just take it. So white can't quite play it that aggressive. I'm going to play a few more. Uh, certainly if I'm closing in on 2600, I'll, I'll try my best. So, yeah, some good stats. Where's Song Lo? Where's Jason Cow? Song Lo. Song Lo is playing. Everyone's in the pool. I think against Song Lo, the key is to play like a C5 setup. Like, don't occupy the center too much against his H4 business. Oh, fast lane. This guy's the bane of my existence. This guy's super fast, as indicated by his name. So... Okay, um, I'm just going to do this, and uh, if he attacks b7, I'll just play queen c8. It's going to go knight e5. Okay, yeah, he just hung something. Let's go here. No, I won't take his knight on e5 yet. Really? That doesn't work at all. Check. Okay. I know my king's a little open, but I <laughs> I should have enough material to uh, to survive. My dark squares are kind of weak. He asked to adjourn the game. That's kind of funny. Okay, guess I'll just keep taking stuff. Maybe castle by hand if I'm able. Check. F two is hanging. 
No reason to take it yet. Okay, he resigned. 2586. So, yeah, that's what happens sometimes when um, you try to play so fast. I'm not saying, like, you know, this is because he was playing too fast, but um, speed is a, a key component of this guy's game, and bishop g3 was just inattentive. He had to take on d5. If he takes on d5, his position might actually be pretty decent. Like, if he takes d5, I probably will take with the c-pawn because I want to keep the e-file closed, and maybe he's getting c4 in before I'm able to castle. So, wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't doubt if that was a... Uh, a challenging line. Okay, we're going to play two more games, no matter what, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Life in the fast lane surely make you lose your mind. Okay, um, I want to play Songlo again. Or Jason Cow. Mainly Songlo, because, uh, I don't know, I just, I feel like I need to solve him. <laughs> I need to get inside the chest brain of Song Lo and defeat him once and for all. But in bullets, driving can sometimes be meaningless and fruitless. You have to adopt a zen-like um, attitude towards your games. If you start getting into the mode of like, I deserve to beat this opponent, or his openings are ridiculous, I deserve to punish them, it's not chess, you're setting yourself up for failure. And that's where Songlo thrives. Rook e1 would have been pretty good there for black. Okay, let's watch fast lane. So he's down a solid 6-7 seconds. I predict he might just come back and win this game. Oop, we got Songlo. Okay, I'm going to play in English against Songlo. And, yeah, again, I'm not going to occupy the center too much. I'm just going to do something like this. This is how we're going to play against him. Yeah, he's going to do something funky, as usual. Go here. I might be trying to out song low, song low, but, you know. Fire with fire in the center. Uh, okay, let's take here. You see? You see? <laughs> Are you not entertained, song low? Okay, knight f3. I'm liking my position now. Yeah, he wants to provoke that g3 weakness. Now I'll probably move the knight and try to get the bishop to g4. Okay, what's up with the e5 move? This looks tremendous for me. Um, let's just centralize. Maybe get e6 going soon. See, if he moves that knight, I can play uh, knight b6 as the thing. Uh, I don't I don't want you to be able to take on... I'm not going to take that rook. No way. Let's just go here and like win this h3 pawn. Sure. Trap is knight. Um, knight b6. What a weird game. He's probably going to play bishop e6 now. I'm going to try to, like, trap-ish his bishop there. Okay, now his knight is trapped. <laughs> What's he going to do about that? Oh, no. Time his knight's one. not trapped. Never mind. I don't know what I was talking about there. Hello, Rook H8 coming. Um, okay. Okay, I have Bishop takes G6 pretty much whenever I want it. Checkmate. All right. Song Lo. It'd be so nice to get one more win against him before I wrap up this session. I think I'm onto something. I really do. Look how I didn't put a pawn on like e4 or d4 too early. And he was kind of confused. Like he didn't know exactly what to do. <laughs> I just I just did like a uh, flank setup. You know, I'm not going to say this is like the greatest thing in the world, like knight e4 and then back to c3. And But hey, by the time I got e4 in, now I open the center at an appropriate time. And his flank demonstrations didn't look as um, intimidating. And, yeah, I kept control pretty well. Okay, Jason Cow, if I win this game, I'm over 2,600, I think. Yeah, I would be. So very important. Important stuff. Let's just trade these light square bishops. Um, okay, he's letting me take here. That's fine. Yeah, he plays really funky openings. Very funky. 
like putting the knight on c6 and other random stuff. Um, okay, so you're gonna go knight e4. Is that the plan? I guess so. Um, I wonder if I'll play h5 now. If he plays h5, I'll play h3. Okay, that's that's annoying. I'm going to. Oh, I don't know. Let's go here. I'm allowing him to win the exchange if he wants. Like he can take g3 and then take the exchange next move. Next move. Um, okay, let's go here. See if I can like create a battery. Go queen e4 or knight knight d2. Knight d2 is another way to operate this. Oh, took too long setting it up though. Time warning. Okay. Yeah, I took a little bit too long setting it up. Mm hmm. I'm unable to take. Check. Attack. Attack is our only solution. It's our only way. Oh. Oh no. Whoops. Okay. Never mind. Oh man. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, okay. Alright. Good game, Jason Cow. You thwarted my attempt to get to 2600. I ended the session on 2575. Let's take a look at the session results. We'll tabulate it. Okay. So, um. So, looking at the session results. So, right here. I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 games this session. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wins and 3 losses. 8 wins, 3 losses. Um, you know, did reasonably well against Jason Cow. I think I split with him 3-3 three and three and beat Songlo a couple times. So I'm, I'm more proud of beating Songlo twice than I am splitting with Jason Cow. <laughs> Let that be known. Um, so Songlo, if you're out there, step up your game, man. I know you throttled me last time, but, uh, you know, today's a new day. Uh, I'm not out of it. So let's check where we are on the list. That session was a huge boost to us. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm right here. About number eight or nine or so. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll be back tomorrow with some more bullet action. Hopefully I can make that push for 2,600. Bye guys.